What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Man, come on, man. Man, do your stupid little intro. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I got a real dope video for y'all for entertainment purposes only. So stay tuned to the end. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And leave a comment. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So Cat Williams, he opens up 2024 with some words for the industry. I came in Listen. this business saying I was going to expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's, it's God's not. side and the other side. Hmm. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Facts. Period. Period. All of these uh, big de deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. And I find this crack. Cat Williams did this interview dropping all this truth around the same time the Epstein list is dropping. Yeah, I'm talking about crazy names like Bill Clinton and Michael Jackson was on that list. We're in the age of Aquarius, the age of truth, the age of knowledge. So everything that was done in the dark, it is now coming to the light. That great deception is over with. There is no more lies. It has literally been written in every prophecy and every religion on the face of this earth. And you gonna stand with the truth, which is God, or you gonna stand with the other side? You did. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the age of Aquarius and all this truth dropping in the comments. In 2024, we are going to watch everyone fall in Hollywood. What Cat Williams just did is something real small. Something major is about to take place next. It's a lot of things taking place right now. 2024 is the year of karma. It's the year of number eight. Number eight has everything to do with money and currency changing. It also represents karma. Remember, when you hide something, you are just asking for someone to come and find it. And Hollywood is about to be exposed. It's not just actors, it's singers, it's rappers, it's athletes, it's everyone that sold their soul to this demonic system. Remember, your soul is worth more than gold. But these people sold their soul for gold. They did the opposite of what we were supposed to be doing on this planet. I want people to understand something. We all have spiritual contracts. I'm here to do what I'm supposed to be doing, and you are here doing what you are supposed to be doing. But what happens if you don't follow your spiritual contract? When you don't follow your spiritual contract, you sign contracts with the matrix and then the matrix own your soul or the copyrights to your spiritual contract it's a lot more things that's going to come out real soon this is why they are building bunkers underground they are trying to hide from the truth but they can't hide you can't hide from yourself it's impossible so right now we are hearing about steve harvey cedric the entertainer puff daddy td jakes Oprah and Tyler Perry is next. Remember, once these people sell their soul, their job is to make you sell your soul. They want to keep you entertained and distracted. Therefore, you will be stuck in this matrix forever with them. Once you sell your soul, you are stuck in the matrix forever. There's no more evolving. Be careful who you let entertain you. Because once you are entertained, something can enter your body and tame you or take over your mind. The words will always tell you the truth. Hollywood is dark magic and they use words to keep you under hypnosis. A lot of people are asleep right now, but that's about to change. Never forget, these people in Hollywood, they are not really stars. We are stars. They sold their star to the matrix. Therefore, they have no light. All you gotta do is look in someone's eyes and you can tell how much light they have in their body. These entertainers don't have no light in their eyes because they are again paid to deceive you by acting like someone else. They don't even know who they are. Check out the ebook. The link is in the bio. Hey, Cat Williams got on there and got some stuff off his chest. I know he been waiting for a while for the right platform to say something. In my opinion, I can't tell another man how to feel or better yet if it's facts or not if I wasn't there. He always been in one of my top faves. 
Facts, part 176. After 9-11, NFL safety Pat Tillman turned down a multi-million dollar contract with the Cardinals to instead join the U.S. Army. He served several combat tours in the Army Rangers before he was tragically killed in the mountains of Afghanistan. Prior to his death, Tillman called the invasion and occupation of Iraq effing illegal. Initially, the Army reported that Tillman had been killed by enemy fire. But in 2004, the Pentagon notified the Tillman family that he was actually killed by friendly fire from his own side. In 2021, Toronto firefighter Danny Flippidus mysteriously disappeared while on a ski trip in New York. Six days later, he resurfaced 3,000 miles away in Sacramento, California with no memory of how he got there. He was wearing the same exact ski gear as when he disappeared but with no ID except for a credit card. Under intense pressure to succeed, Canadian woman Jennifer Penn deceived her parents for over a decade, leading them to believe she was a successful pharmacist despite never even graduating high school. When her lies finally began to unravel, she had her parents murdered by a hitman. This right here is the very first step of creating your makeup, ladies. Check this out. Yeah, this is fish, y'all. Yeah, I, and I'm, I guarantee you it smells so good. Oh my goodness. This is what you guys are putting in your face? Look at this. Big ass feet. So I slow it down for you guys. Check this out. Mm, yep, that is definitely fish. There you go, ladies. So not only is fish the very first ingredient used in creating your makeup, but Playlit Rich Plasma is the second ingredient, y'all. These companies take your plasma and they ship it to these high-end makeup companies every single day, y'all. This is really where your blood and plasma donation is really going to keeping these vampires alive. Playlit Rich Plasma or PRP treatment, which involves injecting a small amount of a patient's own blood to release various growth factors from platelets continues to increase in popularity. The American Society of Plastic Surgeons has tracked the procedure since 2015 and uh, reports a 25% increase in cosmetic PRP use in the last four years. So you guys literally have been putting fish and plasma on your face. Treatment using PRP show great promise for harnessing the body's own natural tissue repair process to help our patients achieve improved form and function. The increase in popularity could in part trace back to celebrities extolling the procedure's cosmetic benefits. You guys remember when Sandra Bullock said this? And it pushes through the skin and ruptures the collagen and then boosts it. You look like a burn victim for a day, but then it's, but then it pushes. What are you pushing into the skin, Sarah? Sarah. Sandra. Sarah? Sarah. <laughs> Carrie? <laughs> what are you pushing into the skin? Well, you push in whatever the facialist would like to insert into your pores. But what is it? It is an extraction from a, um, a, a, uh, a piece of skin uh, that came from a young person. Um, far, far away, and they somehow figured out how to extract. It's foreskin from a Korean baby. I... And then for the crowd to join in and laugh and cackle like that, how egregious. Sandra Bullock wasn't the only one that said this. Check this video out. Uh, right. I've had stem cells in the blood of a two-year-old child injected into my skin, and my face still looks like this. You need to be using fetus blood, Eddie, little spritz of afterbirth, darling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep up, sweetie. Keep up. <laughs> Y'all ladies heard that? Y'all need to keep up with the trend. And apparently you literally are because, uh, hey, they put in fish and plasma in y'all makeup. I really want to know how many of you ladies really knew that. Besides the ones that buy vegan makeup because there is vegan makeup, y'all. So how many of you ladies really knew that? Hmm? Let me know down in the comments below, y'all. Again, I'm just sharing information. I'm bringing awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times, y'all. Let me know what you think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this, y'all. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift. Peace in. Hey, I don't think it's all that serious, but if that's what you into, go ahead and take a deep dive in stem cell foreskin. Would y'all ride one of those? I don't know. I can see myself rolling on the sidewalk, sitting down comfortable. Yo, listen to this.
this shit. PVP. Welcome you back to the night's Temenos Prime. Temenos Prime. You have disgraced it. Join your fellow rebels, fugitive scum. This for the rarest of specimens, the worst of the worst. It's taken centuries, but I collected all the night. Now listen up, listen, pay attention. The creatures want to sweep their chest board clean. Talking about the gene mixtures and all that shit, but I've been telling y'all about the falling and the never oh my god. Hey, I like the way he always incorporates movies. But what you think they doing? Giving us the truth or just programming us with the thought? Generational traumas tend to be carried through the mother. This is why you see in this matrix what we call Earth, this prison cell. The ruling elite, the people in control, always target the feminine. They always target the mother, the womb. This is just one of the thousands of studies done saying that trauma is carried through generations in your DNA. Some scientists have found a link in the maternal mitochondrial line in relation to generational trauma. Hint, this also relates to misogyny and why it's perpetuated in most cultures. If you traumatize the mother, you traumatize the womb. And guess what? Human beings are born through the womb. If the mother is not healthy in her mental and emotional and physical body, the child that she gives birth to will also carry those traumas and those generational curses. This is why in the spiritual community you will hear so many wise and knowledgeable spiritual teachers say that you have to heal generational wounds and generational trauma to actually ascend, to actually heal yourself. Because you are the culmination of all of your ancestors, every single one of them. And the closest three to five generations, I believe, are the ones that affect you the most. Remember, this matrix system is a prison matrix. The ruling elite do not want you to ascend. They want you to be trapped in your trauma body. If you are curious as to why the ruling elite hate us so much, how they got here, and what they truly are, which is just extraterrestrials, my book is linked in my bio. I say things on there that I can't say on TikTok because I'll get banned. But as I was saying, if you traumatize the woman and you traumatize the womb, her children will also carry her traumas. This is how they get you stuck in a karmic loop over and over again. This is also why women who are teenage moms, when they have a daughter, their daughter also becomes a teenage mom. And it's the same pattern over and over again. At some point, it's not a learned behavior because they know better. It's actually a generational wound. It's a trauma. This is also why they say narcissists and sociopaths tend to be created out of trauma. There's only a small percentage that are actually born that way, but most are created through trauma because it's a generational cycle. And even the ones who were born that way, that's also a generational trauma because they were born that way. Your genetics actually have so much influence over you as a person you wouldn't even believe. You can do the shadow work by recognizing those patterns and stopping it. Essentially, that's all shadow work is. Recognize the pattern and take every action to stop it. You have more power than you know. We as a society have gone way too masculine. Even the women are masculine. We need to go back into our more receptive feminine healing energy. There has to be a balance. But the ruling elite do not want you to be balanced. I really do believe trauma is passed down through the DNA. A lot of people don't realize how important DNA is. With the right technology, you can go in there and change everything about a person. Morbid Facts, Part 174. Sons of Anarchy star Johnny K. Lewis was never the same after suffering head trauma from a 2011 motorcycle accident. He started displaying erratic behavior and was arrested three times within the next year. In September of 2012, he bludgeoned his landlady and her cat to death before falling off the roof of her home to his own death. He had no drugs or alcohol in his system at the time. A Japanese pilot who bombed a town in Oregon during World War II 
returned 20 years later to present his family's 400 year old sword as a symbol of regret. His daughter said that if he'd received a negative reaction, he would have used the sword to perform a ritual suicide instead. A serial killer in New Orleans claimed that he would kill again on the night of March 19th, 1919, but would spare the occupants of any place where a jazz band was playing. On that night, all dance halls reached maximum capacity and amateur bands played jazz music at hundreds of house parties. There were no murders that night. Why are all these rich people building bunkers underground? Should we be worried about something? The real question is, what do they know that we don't know? By the way, this man is not a human. You know that, right? I keep hearing stories about the world is going to come to an end. An asteroid is going to hit this planet. I want to say this planet can never come to an end. But the way we look at things will come to an end. The problem is we focus too much on these aliens, reptilians, that we forget that we are powerful also. We need to stop saying that they run this world because they don't run a the world. They actually stole the world. Please don't forget that there are two kind of people in this world. There are children of the sun and there's children of the moon. This is really important. It's not no asteroid that's going to come and destroy this planet. The sun is actually getting closer to this planet. Or I should say we are getting closer to the sun. Remember, children of the sun, children of the moon. These are moon people. They cannot be under the sun. That's why they're trying to build these bunkers underground because they know the sun is about to activate. But they have us looking up out of space worrying about an asteroid. It don't work like that. We live in a closed system. Nothing can penetrate the dome. These solar flares activate us and actually get rid of them. They are like parasites on this planet and the sun or these solar flares is like a detox. 2024 is the year of karma everything they did to this planet and did to us is about to be shown to the whole world what's done in the dark will always come to the light and there is no greater light than the sun the sun is about to show everyone the true darkness of these people and they trying to avoid their karma by running and hide underground let me tell you something reptilians always live underground this is nothing new no one can escape their karma this planet is really starting to wake up. Have you noticed that there have been so many different earthquakes all around the world? These earthquakes is actually the planet going in labor. Just like when women go in labor, the goddess earth can go in labor also. Remember, you can hide from the world, but you can't hide from yourself. Karma is about to expose Hollywood. How many of us actually notice that they are making these giant puppets? Have you seen this yet? Remember, they take from the living and they give to the unalive. These puppets are artificial intelligence. And this is the man that's creating these AI robots or these giant puppets. My ebook is in my bio. I just got the taste for some carrots. Mind control machines. We've got radionic machines that are nothing other than drawings on a piece of paper, and we can get effects from these devices. Um, what's going on? You know, how can we treat a photograph and have an effect take place miles away from the from the source? You know, what's the what's the what's the principle here? What's happening? If we go back to what Keeley was saying about the brain being an acoustic resonant. Now acoustics, a sound wave isn't just something we can hear. A sound wave can exist at any frequency. A sound wave is a compression wave. 
Okay, compression rare facts. So we can go up to these infinitely high levels of frequencies in the gamma range frequencies, the light frequencies, and we still maintain compression rarefaction with many, many, you know, very exceedingly high frequencies. The brain, the physical gray matter of the brain with its convolutions and its really neat shape that it has, if we look at it as an acoustic resonator, we say, okay, well, we got this thing and every one, every brain is different. It's physically different. <clears throat> Each brain, therefore, would have a unique collection of frequencies associated with it. So, if we could, if we could write those down, we would write them as a as a musical notation. Um, so, the frequency is not really that important. But we would have a unique collection of notes that this particular brain that we're looking at would resonate to and vibrate to. When we look at numbers, like we look at this number 16, and this is a little bit, I want to give you a little exercise here. <clears throat> All this is is two squiggles on a piece of paper. I made one squiggle down and one has got a curly cue on it. If we weren't previously conditioned to read this as 16, what would we see? We would see two squiggles. That's all we would see, it would mean nothing to us. Set yourself aside from your previous conditioning and look at that as a symbol. This is a symbol. When we perceive it with our minds, <clears throat> with our eye and into our mind's eye, certain parts of the brain are activated. Certain parts of the brain are excited in a certain way because of the particular configuration that this is. If we saw this squiggle down here, we would get a different type of excitement, a different thing would take place within the physical brain. So when Keeley made his machinery, and he could go over to the wall and draw a symbol on the wall and have the motor start, what he was doing was exciting those particular places within the brain to emit a particular chord of frequency. It's like tuning a radio or sounding a trumpet or any other kind of acoustical device. If you excite that device, you're going to get a certain particular chord of frequency. And if his motor was tuned to those frequencies, it would react. That's why our bodies react the way they react. It is the etheric currents going through the body on these high levels, in tune with the aspects or the pieces and materiality that is our hand. We have that sympathetic connection, so there's a sympathetic stream of vibrations going down through the materiality of your body. And if you happen to be holding a spoon just right, it will do what you want it to do. So we have this connection. There is this innate connection between the brain and the mind and the etheric currents and the materiality of the realm that we live in. This realm will actually give you and show you the secrets if you pay attention, part two. So if you pay attention, this realm is all about acting. It's all about creation. And if you don't believe me, if you got a niece or a nephew, hang around one of them. Or if you got a little brother or a little sister, hang around one of them. And you will see that we come into this or spawn into this realm acting and also creating. So whenever you hear people say, this is a movie and you write the script, that shit real. You are the actor in your own movie, and mind you, action sets up the attraction. Your body is the instrument through which your emotions are played out. So through your emotions, whenever you are going about acting on things, you can bring things into this physical realm. Starting from the first, second, and third levels of creation. Thought, speaking, and then action. And I'm gonna give you a tip. If you are delusional as a child is when going about creating things or acting, that's literally how you would manifest. You literally gotta think like it, speak like it, and act like it. We are all actors in our own movie. And we all write the script for our own movie. And I personally already knew this, but the more I started to hang around my niece and nephew, I was like, yo, the whole point of this realm is to act. That's what we come here naturally doing. And we naturally create things. Yeah, I remember how we was kids and we would come up with bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish, hide and seek, all these different games. That's the point of life, to create. And let me say this before I end this video off. Do not let this system 
strip you away from your inner child because that's where the real healing and that's where the real truth is. And children are the closest thing to God, by the way. So yeah, if you ever want to understand more of your purpose here on this round, look at what children are naturally doing. Being that they are the closest beings to God.